Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to look at overlapping components and their mass properties. Specifically, how does VSP handle components that are inside other components or completely enclosed? So something like a uh, fuel volume inside a wing or cargo inside a fuselage. How do we tell VSP that these two objects have different mass properties or to even look at the objects inside the other one at all? Well, the answer to that is the way that we set up priority in our model. So here we have our first unit sphere in gray, as in the previous model. The second one here is a sphere with a radius of three quarter. I've set the volumetric density to zero. And for right now, these two have the same priority. Priority is located right here in the mass properties box. They're both set to zero right now. So let's look at what happens if we go to mass properties and compute the mass properties of the two spheres. Note that we still have a total mass of 4.186. So that's the effectively the volume or the mass of a unit sphere with density one. So why did it ignore this inner sphere with density zero? And the reason for that is we told it that the outer sphere and the inner sphere have the same priority. That means that VSP is only going to look at the outer body and compute the volume inside it. So if we want to have VSP look at different components in different ways, we need to be a bit more clever. Let's show this model again. Come to the second sphere and say, I want you to have a higher priority than this outer sphere. That's effectively telling VSP, I want you to compute this first, and then whatever is outside of it, I want you to work on that. So let's go ahead and compute this again and watch what happens. Now we've We've got a result that's effectively taking a unit sphere and subtracting out the density of zero that's inside. It's basically a void of a sphere with radius three quarter. You can do the math yourself, but it checks out. So there are a number of ways that you can use this feature. So you can set multiple levels of priority as high as you like of components, inside components, inside components, etc. So you can use things that are a combination of mass properties like Say a cargo box has a surface density of one value representing the material, and then what's inside the box has a different one. You can have something that has, for example, a void inside and a shell thickness inside a fuselage. You can do this a number of ways and make really interesting mass properties for different types of bodies, but know that priority is the mechanism by which you have mass properties calculate this.